Just seen the Aussies doing their lap of honour behind us, and we've got the GB captain with us, Barry Middleton. Welcome, Barry. You got your breath back? Uh, I'm getting there, getting there, trying to talk, but Austin can't understand the thing I'm saying. It was <laughs> unbelievable pace from the very first second. I mean, Australia were out of the blocks, weren't they? Yeah, I think that's what, whenever we play Australia, I think that's what we expect. Um, that's how our games always go against them. It's hard work. There's a lot of running around, as you can tell by I can't breathe anymore. <laughs> um, we matched them at that, and then we know we, we have a good chance. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't know whether you knew the stats at half-time, um, the possession, the chances that the Australians had. Did you get a funny feeling that they just weren't going to score tonight? No, not when I was stood on the post on corners. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, first half was probably... It wasn't the plan to, to give them so much possession and chances. These are the, some of the chances they had. I mean, you, you, that's what you do, that's what you practice, is this sort of defensive skills. Yeah, that's how you win tournaments and you win games. You have to block some, block some shots that are coming at you. You've got to put your body on the line. That Dan Fox has been the one in this game who's taken most of them, taken all the hits, and that's what we work on a lot. And, you know, that's how you've got to win some games. We were talking before this match about how much you learn about Australia. Is there anything more to learn about Australia? You've just played them in a three-match series. You've had so many thrilling matches in the past. Think about the Olympics. Uh, are you do you still now really think that you know you can topple this side come 60 days' time when the Olympics comes along? Yeah, we believe in, in this team a lot. We believe we can beat anyone. We've shown that over the last three and a half years as this team's come together. Again, there's not much more to learn about any of the teams around. I think we know each other so well, and it comes into how well you play on the day and how well you play when you're tired during tournaments. Austin, were you impressed how they stuck in and then eventually they turned this match around and had their chances of their own? I was after the first half where they had quite a few corners against them. The second half they really came out there and I thought they played a lot better. Uh, they created a few more chances for themselves and what was important that they shut Australia down. But they matched them for the, the whole 70 minutes. They kept all the chances out and I thought they did really well. Yeah, we're just giving you time, Barry, to get your, your <laughs> breath back. 60 uh, minutes so, as well, also. <laughs> well I, think, I also think about a bit of a lot of heart. They ran them down, they stuck into their faces right through the entire 60 minutes. And for me, Pinner, Fox and Lewis were actually outstanding in the defence. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those thrilling nil-nil draws. Uh, you know, the keepers, both keepers had great saves to make. Yeah, Pinner was fantastic for Great Britain, but also on the other side, Lovell made quite a few important saves. There was one where he came out, closed down, came off his line at the right time. And also for a keeper who's under pressure for his position, I thought he also did exceptionally well this evening. Just tell me what the coach was asking you to concentrate on, on tonight, because um, some people suggesting you, you keep a little bit back for the Olympic Games. Was it something, was it a shape? Was it the way to defend against Australia? Um, yeah, it was, it's, we know what we do. I won't let everything out. Okay. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, it's about being hard to score against, um, but also trying to win the ball and get some chances going the other way. I think we were hard to score against. We can probably add in now in the tournament, winning the ball a little bit higher in some of the other games and really getting some counter-attacks against the other teams. I have to say, I'd be very impressed by their fitness, GB, because they were run ragged first 20, 25 minutes, and yet it, it looked like Australia were tiring a little bit. Well, yes, I wouldn't say they were one, uh, run ragged, <laughs> but I thought they, uh, they matched Australia, Australia. A lot of teams speak about Australia as being really a fit and commanding team on the field, but it didn't look like that this evening. I thought the great British guys did exceptionally well, and they matched them uh, pace. I think another thing is also the fact that you're 60 days before the Olympics and, and GB and all the teams here are at their peak, you know, in terms of fitness, because they've got to be, they've got to maintain this fitness right through the, through the Olympics and everybody's at, at this level of hockey, it's top notch at the fitness levels. But I don't know if you do video analysis, but we're giving you a bit of a head start for tomorrow. Yeah. These are the great things, the good, good opportunities that you did have, but unfortunately, uh, Tyler Lovell was up to them. Yeah, I think uh, a few of the chances of come from stuff we've spoken about as well, been ready around the D, things can fall, so you don't always get the perfect goal, but you see a few of these have, have come from things falling off the defenders, and then that one with Simon Mantel being ready to get a shot away. Yeah, didn't have as much practice at penalty corners as the Australians did tonight, yeah. but you're keeping a little bit there. This one's fantastic. Yeah, it's unfortunate, it just didn't quite fall to me here as well, I think. Lovell got it away, pretty lucky, classic level really. Barry, thank you very much indeed. Get a good rub down, a bit of a rest, and we'll see you again. Uh, I think uh, Mike is with one of the heroes, Mr Pinner.